six we are entering into. So today we are going to start programming. So programming by using C sharp dot net. So we had already conversation about uh, uh, like uh, discuss about C sharp dot net introduction in last class. So have you received uh, uh, notes, guys? Dot net fundamentals notes. Yes, sir. We did receive. Yeah, actually we shared a link to you and you have to get download, I hope, right from Tech Genius, right? Hello? Check your mails, all of you. So many people are telling no, no, no. Saiti, how you how we are sharing this? Any idea? No, sir, I don't do that. Okay, it's, it's, it, Baskar told me he has done already. Okay, yeah. so guys, Kushbu received it. Received it. Hello. No, we did not receive it. Not Maybe it, it, uh, he might uh, send, we you, send you. So, all so. One minute, one minute. Hey guys. Somebody are telling us. So sir, are telling I think there was, there was a yeah, uh, miscommunication. That's better to clear. Kushbu, have you received? Can you speak? The people who have received, can you speak? Hello? Sir, uh, we received through the mail, sir. Mail. Okay. They have sent you through attachment or sh uh, shared through Google Drive? Uh, att attachment in the TechGenius uh, website. I mean, if I go log in to my account, it is there everything. In uh, in the account, sir. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So you have to visit uh, Tech Genius website. They have shared yes, your sir. link to you. I hope, right? Yes, sir. To the individual yes. account, it is being shared. Yeah. Shared, right? Uh, what are the documents you have received? Um. Uh. Till dot net fundamental training from Tech Genius part five. Till that, I have uh, got it. From oh, record, part one to record. part five. No, no. You have received uh, five session recordings. They just have received only the videos, sir, not the. And as well as you, I have shared you three, uh, two documents. One document is .NET installation document. Yeah. And second .NET installation available. document. One minute. Uh, how to install .NET from the Microsoft website through online? That I have shared. Second one is .NET fundamentals detailed material. My handwritten material it is. Okay. So where very clear material. Have you referred Kushbu it is? Ah. And third third content is all the recorded recorded sessions. Up to five sessions we recorded that we have shared. If you didn't receive just simply mail to this uh, ping to this mail ID info at techzenius.com. If anybody didn't receive please tell to them I didn't receive. They will definitely will share you. We are we want to share to multiple people this content. Okay, so please uh, do it. Hello, uh, okay, guys. Next, come back to today our discussion. Sir, yeah. sir, uh, sorry. And one more thing, I have received only uh, two recordings of uh, sessions. Yeah, no, no, no. They no, they will share you. You just ask every recording, every recording, whatever we have done, want to share to each and every student. Why? Means we will upload. Hello, sir. I'm talking. Uh, yeah. One minute. One minute. One minute. Yeah. Okay, now. Hello. Are you getting Hello. voice? Hello. Sir. Hello. Getting voice? Saiti, getting voice? Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah. If you didn't receive, simply. Uh, Ping to this mail lady, guys. You will receive. Okay, all right. So Maybe your mail lady is missing something like that. So five recordings, and as well as we want to share whatever we uh, two books. One is installation doc. Another one is .NET fundamentals book. Okay, let's start the first program. Uh, Sir, example. Sir, just one second. Let me finish. Yeah. yeah. So, if you want the links about. The uh, okay, we about that we'll talk later. Okay, we will we will we'll update tomorrow very clearly. Okay, I'll talk to Baskar and I'll update to these guys. Okay, okay fine, right. Sure. First program. Example to getting my voice. All of you, first of all. Hello. Are you able to listen me? 
Kushbu or anyone can respond. Getting my voice clearly? Yes. Yes, yes, sir. No problem, yes, right? Yes, sir, it is clear. Oh, okay, that is important. See, material, everything you will get. Talk to his computer, he prefers it to type in particularly. Example to print one welcome message. Message, first program. Example to print one welcome message. See, here my question is, uh, whenever you want to print welcome uh, a message in uh, C language, what is the code you will write? Generally, hello. Uh, console not right line. Uh, I didn't ask you about C sharp. I'm asking about C language. Uh, we'll use printf statement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You remembered huh, that one? Okay, very good. Uh, let me give you. Uh, take pen and paper, all of you. Whatever requirement I'm giving you, please uh, do one thing. Uh, write on your. Uh, uh, what is that you know your paper expectable output is like this my expectable output is I want to print a welcome message like this like welcome to welcome to shisharp.net this is my requirement welcome to shisharp.net this is my requirement are you clear hello yeah so this this message I want to print yes, here I have a question whenever you want to print a message this is your requirement take your requirement on paper so output is welcome to shishab.net one message whenever you want to print something whenever we want to print something hello Hello? Getting my voice? Yes. Yes, yeah. sir, we are getting it. The network is not that much good, it seems, sir. Try to cooperate with me. I'll change the network for a tomorrow class. And whenever you want to print something in C language, we'll write a statement called what? Printf. Okay? Printf. Remember this point. But in shishab.net, what we have to write, we have to see. So, uh, first of all, let me create your, our application. Uh, let me create our yeah, Visual Studio. I'm opening Visual Studio.net. I'm creating one console application. You're writing a, what is this actually? This requirement is what? Write a console program. Write a console program. Because you're developing console program to print one welcome message. This is your requirement. For this requirement, First, we have to create what application? Console application we have to create. Yeah, console application we have to create. One minute. Let me create one application. Yeah, already we have an application called My Console application which we created in our last class. Remember, da? Hello? Yes. Yeah, I'm opening that existing yes, one. I'm opening that existing one. Multiple windows are open. Yeah, I'm opening that application and I'm going to write a code to print a, a welcome message. The message is welcome to csharp.net. So yeah, guys, you can observe. I have, I, I've opened. But if you want to print something in C language, what is a statement? What is a statement? Printf. So similar to printf in C sharp dot net. Whenever you want to print something, the statement is console dot write line. Console dot write. The statement is console dot right line. So what is this statement we have to see, but you remember that whenever you want to print something in C in C sharp dot net, we have to write console dot right line. So I'm opening my 
uh, yesterday created application. That application name is my console application. What is the language we are using, guys? Hello, what is the language? What is the language? Yes, sir. Anybody can respond. What is the language we are using? C sharp dot net. C sharp dot net. And what is the technology we are using? Console technology. Language is C sharp dot net technology. Console technology. What is the technology? Console application. Technology is. Hello. Sir, console technology. What is the technology we are using? What is the software platform we are using? Hello. Console application. Are you getting my voice? Console no. technology. Visual Studio. Visual software Studio. We are using. Akil Singh, you tell me. I created this application in last class. I opened it. I want to write the program. Hello. Hello. Are you getting voice? Sir, we are getting your voice, but there is some sort of distortion coming. Hello. Also, the, your voice is delayed a bit. Hello. Sir, so your voice is delayed. My voice is? Delayed. It's coming late to us. Maybe oh, there is some network in, issue. Uh, oh. For all it is same? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Not clear, voice is not clear, all of you. Sir, we can hear you, but it seems you are not able to hear us. Yeah, Kushbu, somebody speak. Saiti, your voice is very low. I am not getting properly. Sir, sir, I think uh, you are not getting our vo voice properly. We are getting yours clearly. Are you getting my voice clearly, all of you? Yes, sir. We are getting your voice clearly, but our voice is not reaching up to you. One minute. One minute. Sure, sir. Yeah, you speak out, guys. No. Yes, we are speaking out. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now I am getting your voice proper. Yeah. One minute. One minute. Okay. Right. I am getting. So my question is, you have created a console application. There you want to write the program. My question is, uh, what is the software platform we are using today? Visual Studio. Uh, software platform is .NET, and what is the type of application we are right, developing now? Console application. Console application. And what is the language? C sharp. C sharp .NET. C sharp .NET. What is the technology? Console technology. Very good. Uh, very good. What is the runtime environment? Application environment. What is the runtime? Runtime. What is the runtime environment right Visual now? We are going to Visual Studio. Visual Studio. Runtime. Runtime environment. Framework. Dot in framework. Dot. Dot in framework. Yeah, yeah. Dot in framework. No, no. Don't get confused. Let me repeat Visual again. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me repeat again. Let me repeat again. Uh, what is the software platform we are using? Dot. Yeah. Uh, C sharp. Dot. No, 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 no. Let me. Dot net software platform is not Java. Dot net. What is the type of what is the type of application? Console application. Console application. Very good, very good. What is the language? C sharp. Dot net. C sharp. What is the technology? 
console 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 what is the console technology what is the development environment right now we are going to use means where you are writing the program is called .net visual, visual studio .net where the program is going to run what is the runtime environment CLR. .net framework. CLR is a part of framework. .net framework. Are you clear now? Yes, sir. Clear, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now we are going to write the a program to print one welcome message. Yeah. Welcome to C Sharp .net. Welcome to C Sharp .net. My question is, you want if you want to print something in C Sharp .net, you have to write console dot write that statement. So I have already created one application. So I am going to write the code. Can I write here console dot write line? No, sir. No. We have written that day. That day very clear about this file, the whether you remembered or not. We were very clear. We discussed each and every pinpoint on that day. Yeah, we can write in the main. We can write in the main. Wait, 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 wait. Can I write here console no. dot no? Why? Because no. this is the area for base class libraries. Clear? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Can I write here within the namespace? No. no. Because within the namespace, you can define a class, but you cannot write a statement. Uh, can I write within the class like console dot write line? No. Hmm. Why? Because remember, no, no, no. You cannot write because class is not an executable block. Class is a container which can contain collection of methods. So where you can write this statement, you can write. In this statement, a block which will execute. Right now, which is the executable block? Always executable blocks are methods. Right now, how many methods are there in our program? Only one. Only one method. What is the main? Main. Main. We can say we should write this statement within a method called main. 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 Are you clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, yeah. Now I am writing statement here. Console dot Right, and if you have Visual Studio, you can write. Otherwise, you can write on book at least. Welcome to welcome to C Sharp .net. Welcome to C Sharp .net. Okay. Now I have written this program, and one more statement also I am writing. What is this? I'll tell you. Console dot reline. Console dot reline. Okay. Console dot write line. Console dot write line. Now you guys, you can observe how many lines code I have written now. How many lines? Two. Two, two lines. Two, two lines. Line code. After you two write lines. the code, after here, after you write the code, you have to compile. How to compile? Build solution. Build a solution. Observe the uh, Visual Studio where I press build. Observe. Da. Yes. Now your build is succeeded. So your build is succeeded. Build succeeded. You can observe in the bottom. Build succeeded. Got it? Means your program is compiled. Build means compilation. Compilation means let us assume for some time checking the syntaxes. Okay. Suppose, sir, uh, when we will get error, whenever you do any syntax mistake, for example, you missed semicolon. I removed semicolon. You can observe uh, build solution. Now you can observe. Now you are getting one error. Now you are getting one error. Bottom observed, you are getting error observed. Yes. Yes, sir. Error list you can observe. Description of the error. Semicolon expected. Semicolon expected. Uh, where you are getting the error in which file? File program.cs. Line yes. number 8. Column number 51. Project name? My Right now it is two line program. That's why easy to reach the statement where you are getting the error. But tomorrow your application will contain thousand line code. But you should find that you should reach. You want to reach the statement where you are getting error. Simply select the error. Simply select the error and double click. Double click and immediately will reach to the location where you are getting the error. Observe. Huh? And put the semicolon like that. Double put the semicolon. You you uh, yeah. Your error will be rectified. 
now after this run the program how to run the program you can press this green button called start or else debug and start debugging debug and start debugging and whenever you run the program right, so you can observe your application output you are getting how you are getting this output let me see let me explain to you here how you are getting this output whenever you run the application program execution starts by program execution starts by which method guys whenever you run this program, program main, method. main method main method main method main method so clr will first invoke main method next open in brace and it will execute these two lines code first of all before understanding this program how it is executing we need to understand uh, what is console what is right line we need to understand so you can observe if you want to understand anything of your code simply you can do one thing go to that code and keep your mouse you will get the pop-up window you can observe i kept the keep the kept the mouse on console clearly it is showing that class system dot console means here console is a predefined class which is defined by the microsoft within a base class library called system what is the base class library name it's a collection of class is no. defined by soft uh, microsoft right using system. Yeah, yeah system console is a class which is not a, a class which is defined by you or me it's a predefined means defined by microsoft programmer microsoft. they they written this class in a base class library called system that's why it's showing system dot console meaning that babu it is a part of a base class library called system due to that reason you want to use this class there's a reason in the top of your code you have written using system your using system means i am want to use a base class library called system because that base class library class called console i'm using in my code for example if you remove this line you can observe you will get a error bottom two lines you are getting error observed huh? yes, yes yeah that's why again import using system now you guys you can observe next to uh, right line what is right line right line is a predefined method right line is a predefined method it is a member method of a class called console means microsoft programmer has a defined right line method in a class called console console class so what is this method functionality means this method functionality is it will print to the given value what is the given value here welcome to c sharp dot net c sharp dot net it will print to the given value on command prompt window after printing the value it will move the cursor to the next line that is a functionality of what is that right line try to understand i have explained about console and right line here what is right line guys method method predefined method then what is the functionality of right line method predefined means already the defined functionality it will print to the given value it will print to the given value on command prompt Output window, window. Uh, output window after printing the value it will move the cursor to next line next line are you clear about console and right line both guys yes sir sir i have a question where will get the output after running it this get, i didn't i didn't run the application i stopped to run let me explain that's why i'm waiting for output okay now i am going to run but before that you should understand these two very important now harika na harika tell me what is console console is a class class wait 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 wait, wait. one person anyone harika tell me what yeah. is console it's a class it's a what it's class predefined or user defined user defined no, predefined class it is a predefined what is the difference between predefined class user defined class means a class which is already defined by the microsoft programmer is called predefined class a class which we are going to define now onwards is called user defined it's a predefined class oh, it okay. is a part of a base class library called system system okay now coming okay. to right line what do you know about right line small dot sir console is a, is a system dot class wait, wait, wait. 
don't, don't ask me any doubts. You will never get any doubt. First, concentrate class because next minute what I'm going to explain, if you will ask class, will never continue. Wait, no doubt. Nobody will explain like this. This I'm sure about that. Wait, just see end of the class. If you have a doubt, please ask me. Okay, now guys, right line is a method. It will, it's a member method of console class. This method will print to the given value on command prompt window. Command prompt window means console window because these are console applications. Console application output will be on command prompt window. It will print to the value and move the cursor to next line. Now I'm going to run the program. Uh, I'm going to run the program. Debug, start debugging means running the application. You can observe. Your application, whenever you run the application, my question is, uh, who will execute this application in .NET? .NET execution engine is what? CLR. CLR. CLR will start the execution from main method. Okay, first opening brace. Okay, now in this console dot right line. Console dot right line. Here I have a question. Console will execute a right line will execute a. Console. Yeah. So console will never execute because class is not executable block. That's why I'm telling you. Here only which will execute method. Method is what? Right, right, line. Line. right line. Right line. Sir, what is this? You can ask me. This is a dot. Dot is a operator notation. Whenever you want to access the method name, the notation we will use like this class name dot method name. Now, right line will execute. Right line will print to the welcome to C sharp dot net on output window. On output window, like this, you can observe output window. After printing the value, it is moving the cursor to which line? Next line. Next line. Concentrate. Like just follow me. That's it. For my questions, you are respond. Okay. Don't interrupt me in between because I'm sure you will never get any doubt if you listen properly. Okay. After this, control will execute next line. This next line is what console dot read line. Again, read line is what? Yes. Method. One more method. One more method. Member method of which class? Console, Console class. Console. Sir, what is the functionality of read line? Read line functionality is holding the command prompt window until user will press an enter key. Holding the command prompt window until user will press an enter key. For example, right now, my question to all the people, program execution is completed or not completed? Not yet. Not completed. Okay. Program execution completed. is completed or not completed? Completed. Program yeah. completed. Actually, not completed. Not completed. Which statement is executing, you know? Read line. Read line. Very good. Read line. Why? Because it is holding the command prompt window. Now I am pressing enter. You guys, I am pressing enter. Once I pressed enter, once I pressed enter, read line will leave the command prompt window. Now read line method execution is completed. Then it will encounter the closing brace of the main method. Once it encountered the closing brace of the main method, program execution is completed. Are you clear? Again, I am explaining one more time. One more time, I'm explaining. I'm running the application. Yes, guys, try to understand. Uh, I, I'm running the application. When I run this application, CLR starts from which method, guys? Main. Main. Hmm. First statement, console dot right line. Right line is doing what? Printing. Printing. Come on. Right line is doing what? Printing. Welcome to. Welcome to shisha.net. And printing the value and moving the cursor to read. Uh, explain. Explain. Moving the cursor to the next line. Next line. Next line. Here, value is print, right line is doing two tasks. Try to understand. One is printing the value and after that moving the cursor to next line. Next line. Next line. Try to understand that. After that, control will execute console dot read line. In read line, read line duty is what? It will holding the holding command the prompt window. Output window. Until user will press an A. Enter key. 
एंटर की now you may confuse about read line so what i will do to understand this read line i am removing this line code i am removing this line i am removing which one console dot read line i am removing removing now you see how it uh, what will happen you can also run your application your systems you can see observe the output clearly observe da Again, I am running. Program is executed, ah, not executed, ah. Not executed. All of you. It is executed, but uh, command prompt is not uh, like uh, hold. holding. Holding. The holding word. is not yes, done by the read line program command. Program is executed. Output is displayed immediately. Window is closed. You can observe one more time. Keen observation. Window is closed. To hold the window in every console. program the last statement should be console dot read line clear ah yes sir okay you write 1000 line code but last line should be console dot read line only yes, purpose sir. present is holding holding yeah. okay na okay sir yeah. and the holding up to only not put sir that's correct yeah, that's it that's it holding the command prompt window okay now we are going for next program this is my program next program is yours you have to write uh how many are installed visual studio already in your systems i already installed it yeah who are installed write the code in systems who are not installed just write the code on paper okay na next okay. task is write a console program wco write a console program write a console program to bring to to print two welcome messages two welcome message just to print two welcome messages okay simple program observe op is i i'm better to give you better uh, clarity here i am writing in pen board output i'm i'm showing you in pen board which pen board is not getting okay fine that output should be like this you observe op first first output is welcome to welcome to c sharp dot net first line second welcome to console application Welcome to console application. Are you clear? How many lines output? Two lines. Two lines. Two lines. Come on, carry on. Write the code. Okay. Right. My training is I'll make you people to write the code. That is important. Done now. Over, guys. हेलो 
హలో కంప్లీటెడ్ ఆ yes sir i did it yeah how many are completed you can write in paper also sir how to write in paper means simple uh, don't write full full uh, uh, block simply what you can write if who are writing in paper just write main method like static void main op- uh, parenthesis open the brace two lines code or three lines whatever you want so what is the code here come on first line is same second line console dot right line right line come on yeah right line welcome to console programming yeah console application welcome to, welcome to console console application. application console application okay guys this is the second line enough yeah oh, right this is the code you have tried but might be somebody written console dot right line two times here on console dot right line here on console dot right line not required only last statement should be the console dot right line clear ah yes sir yeah yes, sir. okay now uh let me run the application let me run the application yeah uh today might be you are not having my voice very clear tomorrow don't uh, expect this issue i'll let wait try to cooperate with me when you run this application uh getting clarity voice are you getting yes sir we are getting it we are getting it but bit interruptions are there i observed bit interruptions are there i am able to observe that okay network is not good today right when i run application now again see here whatever we are going to do is called tracing tracing means executing the code line by line today two lines code but tomorrow 2000 line also same procedure this is very important how the code is executing when you run the application dot net execution engine called clr starts from main method first it will execute right line first right line it will print to what guys welcome to c sharp dot net c sharp dot net and move the cursor to second line okay. first line to second line first line to second line move the yeah. cursor to second line so cursor is in second line because of first right line after that second right line will execute it will print to welcome to console application from here and move the cursor to which line third line third. cursor is moved to second line to third line because of which right line first right line or second right line second line second right line after that control will execute which statement read line read line statement read line my question is program execution is completed or not completed not yet not yet which statement is executing read line, line statement read line what read line is doing it's holding the command prompt window out right window. now read line is doing what holding holding, holding the prompt window how long until we press an enter button yeah until user will press an enter once okay. user press enter read line will leave are you clear yeah i am getting one small yeah. clarification Now that the uh, the console that read line is written, for example, I want to write ten times. So each time ten times you need to click that, correct? Yeah, yeah. If you, you write, write, yeah, if you will write, you observe. I'll show you that model. Suppose you are written here also console dot read line. Only one only only one only appear on the screen. Still enter that. Still enter yeah, the. Now if you, one minute. If you will write this type of program, what will happen? You see. First to right line will execute. The right line will print welcome to C sharp dot. Yeah, C okay. sharp dot. Welcome to C sharp dot. Then move the cursor to next line. After that, control is executing this speed line. This read line is doing what holding. First to speed breaker, you can say. <laughs> okay, holding. Once you press the enter, what happened? It's leaving. Read line is leaving. Again, right line. Welcome to console application. and move the cursor to next line again second read line is holding now second read line is holding suppose you press the enter it will be leaving okay na it's gone right yeah don't worry i'll make you to play volleyball football together with logic i'm sure about that whatever background you have i'm very much yeah. confident about my training okay don't worry but learn it properly because when you are constructing house we need the thousand bricks we are using but uh, if anybody will ask which brick is important means every 
big is important. Okay, try to concentrate. Yeah. Now third task. Third task. We are going for third task. Write a console program to print three welcome messages. To print okay. three welcome messages. Uh, first one is welcome to shishar.net, welcome to console application, and welcome to tech genius. Yeah, three outputs. Write the code. Come on, write the code. If you have system, uh, how I am tracing, you trace like that. Come on. No, no, don't you give your disturbance to us, Lakshman? Come on. Yeah, no, one second. I'm just I'm <laughs> No, no, mute. That's it. You do you play volleyball, football, and you sing also. No problem, but mute. Yeah, over, uh, guys, yes, written sir. code. Yeah, yeah, very good. Very good, very good. You see the, you see the code now. I am going to write. Uh, first line is okay. Second line is okay. And third line. System, without system also, with pen and paper also, you people can write. But here you observe mm -hmm. one important point. According to the coding standard, mm -hmm. class name should start with capital letter. Here, console, C is capital. According to the coding standard, method name, every word should start with capital letter W and L. Even though which are predefined, they have given. But even though tomorrow you are using different classes, methods also same. Class name should start with capital letter, method name and class name. Every word should start with capital letter. I hope you are clear. The third statement, console dot right line. Welcome to Tech Genius. Right, this is the code. Now we entered, first we have written two lines code, now we entered into four lines code, step by step learning. Don't be hurry, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the uh, code, what you have to write. Yeah, written by all the people this code? Yes, sir. Yeah, how many people are able to write this code? Honestly, tell me. I want I to see. Not yes, as sir, much I did. Many people are sleeping, I hope. Ah, Akil, done? Yes, sir. Anu, I want to talk to every person. Anu? Ah, Aparna? Dana? Right, next, after Aparna, caller. I didn't get any name here. Next, CH. Chakradar. They're responding through chat, it seems. <laughs> ah. Next, uh, next Ganesh, done. Next Harika. Yeah, done, sir. Kartik. Two Kartiks. Kushal. Yes, I did. Kavita. Yeah, I did, sir. Kavita, uh, right. right. Uh, Manasa, done. Manasa? Done. Uh, next, uh, Neeraja. I am done, sir. Isha. Ramesh, Reshma, fast. Yes, I am. Yes, I am done. Sarke, Sai, Sai, Sai. Yes. Uh, Saima, na Saima. Shilpa. You are done, sir. Sri, uh, sorry, Sri, 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 Yes, sir, I done. Srikant, Srikant, Shruti. Done, sir. Darshan, done. Sumant, Sunny, Sushma, Swati, last. <laughs> right, okay, I am going to teach you here one beautiful technique. Try to understand. One interview, two interviews, max you will get the job. Max three, that's it. Okay, I'll give you one interview question, Mac. Very powerful. Simple point, I'll tell you. In India, yesterday, uh, there is a company called uh, AppStack, I think, AppStack Solution. They called, they asked me to send your guys to interview. I have sent around 50 people, went from my batches. 250 gathered out other other institutes all. 
they have offered around 27 or 28 offers they have released yesterday 25 students from our batch two five only two three guys from other places other trainers other institute 25 selected congratulations sir one interview, one interview. Every time we'll, but it was a big, big uh, drive yesterday. Big recruitment. They need 50 people, but I don't have that much crowd yesterday because they kept a constant call some 60 percent. So and other batches are in not completed still. Only one batch is completed. In that we have around uh, 150 people, and they uh, people not having percentage. That's the reason I send around 50 people. Among the 25 people got jobs. <laughs> Freshers. Okay, fine. See, that's my name. Success, forget about that. Okay? Success is with us. Failure is also with us. Nowhere. Don't require to go anywhere. It will be with us only. We have to find it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to show you when a very good technique here called debugging technique. A debugging with breakpoint. You want to learn that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whenever you feel hungry, if I will give food, it will be tasty. Otherwise, no taste, right? Yeah, I'm put, uh, putting breakpoint. How to put breakpoint? Moving the cursor to left side of main method and press the left mouse button. Observe uh, my cursor movement, all of you? Yes, sir. Exactly left side of main method, press the left mouse button. Okay. Press left mouse button. Left left mouse button okay left mouse button now one red color point came yes. Observe. yes sir that is called a break point now we are doing line by line execution with break point press function key called f10 yeah f10 yes yeah I'm executing the code with the help of function key f10 Yeah, F10. You can observe. Whenever you press F10 every time, hello, F10, yes. you can observe. First time when you press F10, it will select opening brace. Means program execution starts by main method opening brace, right? Second mm -hmm. time, now yellow colored means that go, that statement is going to about to execute. Yellow colored means. Now first okay. to right line selected. Observe. Once you press F10, it will go to next line means this statement execution is completed. The statement, okay. first statement execution is completed. Means you can see the output in command prompt window. What is output? Welcome, Welcome to, 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 to the cursor to next line. After that, again press F10. Welcome to second console dot right line over. Welcome to console application output. You will get. And move the cursor to next line. Again press F10. Again press F10. Now, third console dot right line over. Welcome to Texinius and move the cursor to next line. Now, control is executing console dot read line. Now, control is executing console dot read line. Have you, did you listen properly? Yes. Yes. Shall I explain one more time? Yes. Yeah, I'll do one more time. Again, I'm putting the breakpoint. Breakpoint left side of my main method. Main method, I am putting the breakpoint. Sir, here. where do we have to click to get that? I am not getting it. Breakpoint, huh? breakpoint, very simple. Yes, sir. Again, I am telling you, really try to catch me. Yeah. Uh, keep your mouse cursor left side of your main method. Move up like this. I am moving up. Observe mouse cursor. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. I am moving. And whenever it's reached main method, exactly main method heading, method heading, press the left mouse button. When you okay. press the left mouse button, one red color ball will come. That is break point, fixing break point. Done? Yeah. Now you press F, F10. Function key is for F10 for debugging. First, when you press F10, opening brace is selected. Means it's going to about to execute opening brace. Second, first right line. First right line executed. Output is welcome to shishop.net. Again, press F10. Second right line is executed. Welcome to console application. Observe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Third right line is executed. Welcome to Texinius. Okay, na? Yeah. 
this is called executing the code line by line with the help of breakpoint is called debugging. It helps lot whenever you write a program, some error is coming, where the values, how the values are changing to get it, it is very useful technique. Okay, na? Mm. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that is about, uh, actually, today due to some network disturbance, it didn't went properly class, frankly, I'm telling. So I am also not happy with today class. So don't worry. Tomorrow I'll come with, uh, we will change the networks, everything. Maybe network disturbance is uh, sometimes will happen. We can't do anything, but we have two, three alternative networks. But I didn't have the time to change again. It will take five minutes time. That's why. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, you will get everything. Still, if you didn't get anything uh, about uh, may, uh, like recordings or materials, please mail to info at techzenius.com. I'm copy and paste that uh, mail ID to you guys. Sir, one more one minute, one minute, one, I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you, okay now, right, yeah, you can speak now, guys, mm. yeah, I I oh. tell me, yeah, that is right now, right, in console dot, uh, the right line dot will be written, correct, that particular output, but in the road, the C sharp program, I always use the console only, for example, web application different, and uh, Windows application different, and we always use same console dot, right, 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 and only, through the program, Babu, Babu, this is con one minute. It is console program. In console program, if you want to print something, this is a statement about Windows application, web application. We will write different code. Okay, now. Okay. Don't ask what is going to be happen in fifth class, tenth class, in first class. Okay, first concentrate first class. Huh? Right. No, 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 no. Because actually, for example, if we take in the C language, now where throughout the book we can write only print up statement. No, no, C language. C language is different, it is different because .NET is a platform which supports to develop various type of application, right? I understand, no, 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 no. because that is what I am getting actually, I understand that Windows application we have to write different code and Windows. It is not GUI based application, right now what you are de developing is console based application. But when you go for SP.NET application, you will not write code like this. Language will be C sharp only, but there you will have UI. UI means user interface. There you will have controls like text boxes, buttons. So the coding will be different. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Fine, guys. Uh, thank you very much, and we'll meet tomorrow. Still, I, uh, I, 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 please let me know that link, sir, for the material. Yeah, everything you will get. Just send me a mail oh, to I, the I, 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 info I, at Texinius. Or let's you, call man. to them. Call to Texinius the website and take the number and call to them or else uh, yeah do it okay thank you very much we'll meet tomorrow still if your friends are there you can uh, ask them to join tomorrow also we'll forward whatever session we you they missed okay thank you bye to all